sponsored by Bangta Sustainable Business Development in Harmony with the Environment and Society. As we are moving closer to the coming Aussie Economic Community in 2015, we see new opportunities rising up for all business sectors in ASEAN. However, is the Thai government doing enough to grasp this opportunity and is Thailand ready for this shift? Today in Tours 2015, Kunnapakun Lim Saman Pan gets a chance to discuss with Mr. Andrew Juriax, chairman of the AEC committee, on this very topic. But first, we need to know a little more about the AEC committee in the Joint Foreign Chamber of Commerce. The Joint Foreign Chambers is made up of 27 different chambers of commerce in Thailand mm -hmm. uh, and, and we provide advocacy for mm -hmm. our members in the different companies. Yes. Uh, on my committee, just the AEC committee, we have 10 uh, active members yes. um, and the interesting thing is that mm -hmm. we have members who come from ASEAN companies, mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, that's an example Singapore and Malaysia. Yes. We have members who are ASEAN plus mm -hmm. companies so that's Japan and Korea, and there's another four. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have members who are from non-ASEAN countries. So Sweden and Germany are active on my committee as well. Uh -huh. New Zealand mm -hmm. and, and others as well. So. And they share the impression that uh, Thailand is uh, behind the schedules in uh, taking up the challenge of AEC? Yeah, it's not just behind in, in taking up the challenge and the schedule, but mm -hmm. it's, we fear that it's missing an opportunity to take a leadership role mm -hmm. uh, because Thailand really needs the mm -hmm. AEC to happen and to occur and to push forward. So we, we think that Thailand should be really taking the lead mm -hmm. and we shouldn't have a message in the media mm -hmm. of fear and uh, increased competition and some businesses will lose out. Mm -hmm. What we really need to be saying to the everybody in Thailand is, this creates the opportunity for lower cost goods, for better quality services, mm -hmm. for better employment opportunities for Thai citizens, mm -hmm. and it gives access for our Thai companies, whether they're owned by foreigners or owned by Thai citizens, mm -hmm. to expand from 60 million customers to 600 million customers. Ten times more. Ten times the population base, mm -hmm. which if implemented properly, the mm -hmm. AEC gives access to our Thai businesses, mm -hmm. which means they can make money in other countries mm -hmm. and bring the profits back to Thailand. Mm -hmm. And they can then, th Thailand is a fantastic logistics base mm -hmm. and great central location in ASEAN. It should really be the leader. Mm -hmm. So many business people, including foreigners in Thailand, are talking about the Thai government, that they are lagging behind in implementing several measures for, for AEC or the ASEAN Economic Community which will be, which will be effective in 2015. What yes. is your opinion? Uh, I think it's, it's true to say that from the Joint Foreign Chamber's perspective, uh -huh. there are serious delays in some areas. Yes. Uh, in some areas, there's, there's five areas, free flow of goods, free flow of capital, free mm -hmm. flow of investment, free flow of skilled labour and free flow of services. Yes. In the area of goods, Thailand has done a lot of good work and mm -hmm. along with the other countries in ASEAN, a lot of the tariffs and, and ta in, import taxes have yes. been fixed uh -huh. um, and so we're very pleased about that. However, in the other areas, particularly in the skilled labour area and in the services area, the services sector, for example, is covered under what's called the AFAS agreement. Yes. And within that agreement, there was a blueprint that all the governments ag agreed with. Mm -hmm. And part of the major changes in that section were that the services sector in the Thai economy would be liberalised. Yes. And one of the key areas of that is the foreign equity ownership limits. Mm -hmm. And so there's a concept that uh, some service sectors will be able to move to 51% uh, foreign ownership yes. by 2008, 2010, 2012, uh -huh. and then a further step for some of those to 70% foreign mm. equity limits later on. Yes. Uh, with all sectors of the service, all service businesses being mm. covered by 2015. Mm -hmm. To date, we've had no changes at all within the Thai system to mm. allow that to happen. I see. And I should also say that that mm. only goes in the agreement the interpretation is that that will that 51% and 70% ownership yes. only applies to ASEAN citizens or other ASEAN companies. Uh -huh. 
for ASEAN and having the AEC happen. We think it's really good, a good opportunity for Thailand. We think it's actually necessary for Thailand. We think it's good for the region to grow. Um, part of the challenge for us is what is the what will the rules be mm -hmm. in between now and 2015 for our members? Our members are trying to plan uh, for operating businesses for two years, for five mm -hmm. years, for ten, for even 20 years. Mm -hmm. And we don't know what the definitions of things like mm -hmm. what's an ASEAN citizen, mm -hmm. what's an ASEAN company. company. Uh -huh. We don't know what these will mean mm -hmm. and how they will be interpreted yet. Mm -hmm. uh, unskilled, uh, labor. unskilled labour coming in from all the neighbouring countries and all of that. That's None of that is in the agreements. Yes. Okay, so this agreement only covers skilled labour uh -huh. and at the moment we already have implemented earlier this year yes. the first mutual recognition agreements or mm -hmm. MRAs and they mm -hmm. cover seven professions. Mm -hmm. the, Such pro as the doctors, doctors dentists, engineers. engineers, surveyors, architects and a couple of others. Mm -hmm. Okay. So at the moment, those, those people with those skills should be able to take advantage of this and move within ASEAN to work where they want. Yes. The problem is that within Thailand, mm -hmm. there's been no changes made to the labour laws or the uh -huh. work permits or the processes mm -hmm. to support such a move. Yes. For example, in Tha the way the system will work is that the person first needs to be registered in their own country for five years and mm -hmm. operate in their own country for five years. Then they need to register with their local, with mm -hmm. an international or ASEAN group. Yes. Uh, so, for example, an ASEAN engineers group. council. Yeah, council mm -hmm. or, or committee or something. Mm -hmm. And the problem is that Thailand hasn't registered with any of those ASEAN groups. Mm -hmm. So, no Thai citizen can actually register with those groups. Mm -hmm. Therefore, no Thais can currently take advantage of that. And it also means that Thai companies can't take advantage of the agreements by bringing in maybe some engineers or some doctors mm -hmm. and then medical tourism is a big push for in Thailand for, to make money here to yes. help out the hospitals and medical tourism but the Thai hospitals can't take advantage of this mm -hmm. by bringing in doctors or, or nurses from mm -hmm. other countries mm -hmm. because we haven't done we haven't implemented the changes that are needed mm -hmm. and providing some certainty on what the, the various definitions mm -hmm. and what the procedures and the processes will be mm -hmm. um, we think that there probably needs to be um, one centralized focused group mm -hmm. today there is one group that's responsible one ministry the ministry of commerce department of trade negotiations yes they've been wonderful they've been a great help mm -hmm. however they don't have the authority to mm -hmm. act and make the changes in all the other ministries and departments in thailand i see mm -hmm. so they don't have the manpower they don't have the authority we really need another push by the mm -hmm. thai government to create some form of central driving committee, mm -hmm. make a, a plan, command. single command would be great, uh -huh. um, make a plan, define the strategies, mm -hmm. define the procedures and then start communicating that to the business community mm -hmm. um, so that our members and all Thai companies mm -hmm. can start to take advantage of it. While many ministries in Thailand have been very active regarding the opening up of the AEC recently, many have been regarded as confusing for the Joint Foreign Chamber. Now, a more discussion with Mr. Andrew Drurix, when Towards 2015 returns.